Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well and staying safe. In this video, we are going to learn how to make PDFs. So if that is what you were looking for, you've definitely come to the right place. This video is going to be helpful if you have uh, either an Apple device, like an iPad or an iPhone, uh, because there is an app in their suite called Notes, which we will use. So the first thing that I wanna say about Notes is that um, the order in which you take the photos is the order in which the photos will appear in the PDF. So you definitely want to make sure that you have them already in order or take the photos in the order that you want them to appear in your PDF. All right, so that is um, the most important part and let's get started. So we're gonna open up the app called Notes. Let's click on that. And on the bottom um, of the screen, you'll either see a yellow, um, image of these icons or you'll see the icons over here right above the the typewriter screen you'll notice there's a check there's a camera and then there's like a little pen mark so you want to want to click the actual um, camera the camera then is going to pop up with these three options you're going to want to click scan documents and now i can take a photo um, and there are two options that you're given for your photos either you can take it auto um, so once you've raised up your camera and it senses that it's gotten all of the um, borders of the of the page contained, it will take the photo and focus the, the, the text that you have. Or if you want to do that manually yourself and then press the actual photo button, then you can switch it to manual. I have mine set to auto, so let's raise it up. It'll automatically sense. took a photo of the page, and then I'm going to turn my paper over or get my next page and take a photo of that. And that photo came out a little bit blurry, so we're gonna retake this one. Okay, that appears better. All right, and now we have our pictures in the order that we want them. So if I wanna take another photo, I could, but I'm done now. So now I'm gonna click on the bottom uh, where it says save, and then the two is how many pages you've actually taken uh, photos of. So I'll click save, and then I'm gonna click scan, scanned documents, because I wanna change the file name now. Here's where you can actually name the file the way that you want it to. So name it however you want, and then um, it'll be saved as a PDF file. I'm gonna put the, uh, the naming um, protocol that I have my students use. So it'll be the assignment number, whether it's a homework or a classwork. So the assignment name of the homework. Then they'll put a space, then a dash, then the period that I have them, then a space, then a dash, then another space, and then their first and last name. All right, and now that is saved. So I'll click save and it is now a PDF. So now what I wanna do is because I'm going to send this off, um, I'm going to click the little send button at the top right hand corner where it um, has an arrow going up. So I'll click that. And here you can see where, where um, you wanna send it to. So we have options of airdrop, we can send it as a text, we could email it, we could send, send, it, to, send it to Google Classroom, which is where we definitely want it to go. Um, so in, in this case, but you might wanna send it to other places like Box. Um, so once you click that, it, it'll send the file to where you want it to go, and that is it. So I hope this video was helpful in helping you to make PDFs from images that you've taken. Um, I hope this video saves you a whole lot more time as opposed to either having to take a photo um, and then send all your photos to your computer through AirDrop or email and then um, move those files uh, into either Google Docs or Microsoft Word and then make a PDF. So I hope this streamlines the whole process and makes it easier for you to submit work digitally, which is now how most of us are sending our work and our files now. So I hope you're doing well and I hope this video was helpful and please continue to stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.